Hi everybody, my name is Miss Edwards. In this video, we are going to focus on how to eliminate irrelevant details when writing paragraphs. Your task for this lesson is to answer this question. How did Total War shape different spatial scales during World War I? And in this video, we are going to focus on getting rid of unnecessary details that don't help us answer this question. Let's get into it. So when you're writing paragraphs, it is important to have details that support the topic sentence. Your topic sentence is what your paragraph is all about. So I liken it to this drawing of a house the top of the house you have your roof and then you have your support beams and supports in the middle and then that at the bottom you have your foundation so all parts are needed in the house okay so your roof is your topic sentence and your topic sentence is being held up by supporting details and the concluding sentence is a foundation sometimes we have a lot of different ideas and sometimes those ideas don't relate to the topic Eliminating irrelevant details is important because we want to stay on topic. We want to distinguish between information that is essential and non-essential. And we also want to organize our writing. Let's look at the question again. How did Total War shape different spatial skills during World War I? So we wanna start here with Total War. So when you hear Total War, you think of devastation on the battlefield, advancements in weaponry, mass casualties, and women's roles in supporting war effort and war on multiple fronts. When I hear the word scale, I think of individuals, local communities, nations, regional, uh, for example, Europe, Southeast Asia, and the world. If I'm going to answer this question, let me see if I can rephrase it. So in other words, we have to write about how World War I affected individuals, local communities, nations, uh, regions, and the world. Now we wanna think about starting our paragraph. So when we're thinking about writing paragraphs, before we even start writing our paragraphs, we need to take three steps. So it's important to brainstorm, create an outline, and then write your paragraph. This isn't the final step. Um, you constantly have to revise and edit. This skill of eliminating irrelevant details is revision. Let's brainstorm. But World War I at multiple scales. Cities with civilians bombed. Soldiers died horrible deaths in trenches. Women had to work to support war efforts. Factories produced more products for war. There were mass mobilizations of soldiers. Women had to maintain their homes. There was rationing. And then women had to take on roles that were historically dominated by men. So if we're writing a paragraph, and let's say the topic is women's roles, which information would we choose to support our topic? Which information is related to women's roles? Okay, women had to work to support the war effort. Also, women had to maintain their homes and women had to take on roles historically dominated by men. So if we're writing a paragraph about women, which details would we need to eliminate? Now let's look for information that doesn't support our topic. We want to eliminate that information because it's irrelevant to our topic, which is women's roles. Cities with civilians were bombed, right? That doesn't really tell us what women were doing. Also, war on multiple fronts doesn't really support what women's roles were okay let's look at another example our topic let's say is all about mass casualties which information could I use from this brainstorm that will help support my topic about mass casualties cities with civilians bombed soldiers died horrible deaths in trenches and mass mobilizations right which information will I need to eliminate because it's irrelevant you know, so women had to take on roles historically dominated by men, okay? And women had to maintain their homes, and there are others. Um, you wanna make sure that you narrow your focus, make sure it's related to the topic. Let's create an outline. 
So we're creating an outline. First, let's look at this outline here. So I see my topic is going to be on women's roles. I see there are two lines. It says on the other side of the lines, it says TS. TS stands for topic sentence. And then I see the numbers one to four. And then at the bottom, I see the initials CS. CS stands for concluding sentence. So let's look at our, our topic sentence. During World War I, women were integral in their support of war efforts and were also expected to fulfill traditional roles. Let's look at our concluding sentence. Women historically overlooked individuals were the life forces for sustaining livelihoods on the home front and for ensuring war goods were available for battle. Okay, so now we're going to fill it in with details. Your task is to identify which information is irrelevant, which information can I eliminate from this outline. And it's quick to note that we're creating an outline. So outlines don't necessarily require complete sentences. You're going to write complete sentences when you're writing your paragraph. The outline is a guide for you so you know what to do when you go to write your paragraph. All right, let's go. Let's start with number one. Women assumed roles previously held by men. Women worked in factories and as a result, they supported the war effort and supported the home front. Poster portrays women working in factories. Picture shows soldiers in bombed out church. So now, which information is irrelevant to this paragraph? Which information can I eliminate? The picture that shows soldiers in bombed out church, right? So it doesn't fit in this paragraph. Maybe if a paragraph was talking about the mass destruction that was caused during World War I, that detail would work, but it doesn't fit here. Okay, so we would have to eliminate that. Let's look at how we can eliminate irrelevant sentences or details in our paragraph writing. There are sentences in this paragraph that are not supporting the topic sentence. Okay, so let's look for those sentences. Pause here to read this text. Okay, so I found it. Mass mobilization, the action of a country or its government preparing and organizing troops for active services was a feature of World War I. So this does not fit in this paragraph. It is irrelevant. Also, there's another sentence towards the end. Nations had annihilating weapons that were used for attacks on and off the battlefield at their disposal. So these two sentences don't support the topic sentence, so they're irrelevant to this specific paragraph. Here's the paragraph without those two sentences. So you see every sentence is related to our topic sentence. Now that I've gone over this, let's practice categorizing. So we have two topics here that could be potential paragraphs, women's roles and war not limited to the battlefields. Where should these sentences go? Cities, towns, and neighborhoods were bombed. Would that fit under the category of women's roles or would it fit into the category of war not limited to battlefields? It would go here, okay? Let's look at another example. During World War I, women had to work both in factories and maintain their households. Where would this sentence go? It would fit into the category of women because it's referring to women. Okay, let's look at another example. One image in particular shows a London home damaged by a German air raid. So that would go under war not limited to battlefields. It's talking about devastation that was caused because of the war. And then our last example, author Nina McDonald wrote, girls are doing things they've never done. Go as bus conductors, drive a car or a van. Okay, so this would fit into the category of women's roles. Let's recap. So eliminating irrelevant details is important because we want to stay on topic. We also want to support our topic sentences as well as distinguish between essential details and non-essential details. And lastly, we want to do it because we want to organize our writing. When you're writing paragraphs, you have to plan. You have to brainstorm, outline, and then start writing your paragraph. And that is not the final step because you still have to revise and edit. 
I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.